In recent years, conversations about LGBTQ plus rights have gained momentum around the world. But within many Muslim communities, these discussions are fraught with complexities rooted in the intersection of faith, culture, and identity. Makanya uh, azasnya itu adalah di depan um, uh, orang yang sudah dihukum itu dan orang yang sudah dihukum itu sendiri merasa malu dan tidak mengulangi lagi. Let's begin by understanding biological genders. Thank you for the opportunity to address you. My name is Miriam Grossman. I am a board certified child, adolescent and adult psychiatrist. I have been taking care of patients for 45 years. Sex is not assigned at birth. Sex is established at conception and it's recognized at birth, if not earlier. But to claim that sex is assigned at birth is without any scientific basis whatsoever. Its language misleads people, especially children, into thinking that male and female are arbitrary designations and can change. That is simply not true. Dr. McNamara claims that social and medical interventions are the only evidence-based treatment and that scientific evidence shows it is life-saving. Well, a growing number of countries have effectively banned the care to which she's referring, suicides or other mental health catastrophes. Three years ago, Finland placed strict limitations on medical interventions for minors. Sweden did the same thing after a 14-year-old girl was found to have osteoporosis and spinal fractures from puberty blockers. An investigation concluded, quote, the risks of anti-puberty uh, and hormone treatment for those under 18 currently outweigh the possible benefits. The UK conducted a review and called the evidence very low. They've also placed severe restrictions on the care that Dr. McNamara calls life-saving. Norway also analyzed the data and has made similar changes in policy. The National Academy of Medicine in France warned, quote, great medical caution must be taken in children and adolescents given the vulnerability of this population and the many undesirable, even serious, complications the therapies cause. Doctors in New Zealand and Australia have published similar statements. Is Dr. McNamara suggesting that all these countries are rejecting evidence-based treatment? Regarding that point of view, Finland's gender expert, Dr. Rita Kaltiela, said, quote, it's purposeful disinformation, the spreading of which is irresponsible. All seven countries, and Florida too, of course, concluded that kids don't need their development interrupted, the girls don't need their periods stopped and their voices lowered, and the boys don't need to grow breasts. What they need is psychotherapy. Biologically speaking, humans are typically classified into two genders, male and female. This classification is based on physical characteristics such as reproductive anatomy and chromosomal makeup. Challenges faced by LGBT Muslims. Jadi kita kehilangan hak privasi kita. Ya, kamu sudah dihukum di depan umum, tentu akan mendapat tekanan psikologis yang amat berat, rasa malu, rasa rendah diri dan sebagainya was abused, physically abused, for a period of around five years. I was essentially, people tried to beat the gay out of me. I got divorced at the age of 29, after being married for six years, and then that's the point where I just felt that no more double life. I need to be authentic with myself, and part of that authentic process was to also come out. I choose to be in a place where I feel welcome and be a part of a community and um, have a relationship with God and a very healthy one as such and not feel like I am part, I am part sinned all the time. Traditional interpretations of Islamic teachings often align with the binary understanding of gender. How can you be homosexual? Huh? It's forbidden. 
the ruling in Islam. And this is sort of the clear and unambiguous and something that no Islamic scholar or mainstream masjid or institution would deny. Number one, that in Islam, any sexual relationship outside of nikah between a man and a woman is haram. Number two, desires are not sinful, nor should people be identified or ostracized by desires, but instead, every Muslim is defined by Islam, which is submission to Allah with those desires. Number three, same-sex actions are unequivocally haram. Number four, the one who acts upon those desires is sinful, but within the fold of Islam, so long as they don't justify those acts. Number five, the one who does not act upon them is actually rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their mujahada, meaning their striving. Uh, number six, the one who denies its prohibition denies what is ma'loom in ad-deen bi darura. Uh, I, I think we just released the lecture that I gave on uh, ijma' and ma'loom in ad-deen bi darura, which means that which is known by the religion by necessity. Uh, so the one who denies its prohibition denies what is ma'loom in ad-deen bi darura, which takes one outside of the fold of Islam. Number seven, to celebrate or support what Allah has prohibited is a form of fusuq and cannot be done in the name of social cohesion or political mobility. Number eight, we have and always will condemn mistreatment and violence against people on the basis of orientation, lifestyle, or belief, but that condemnation should not be conflated with making halal what Allah has clearly made haram. Number nine, we should still be the best of neighbors and colleagues and show all people the beauty of the prophetic way with our character. Number 10, we should always anchor our understanding of any issue in the Qur'an, the Sunnah, and the Ijma'ah. We as Muslims must stand on what Allah has ordered. If we look at the LGBTQXYZ agenda, we as Muslims cannot support this, not to make alliances. Even if they don't support our causes, we don't need them, we need Allah. Know this, that the wife of Lut, والسلام, the Prophet Lot, السلام, his wife was called a kafira in the Qur'an for her support of the LGBTQ people in the time of Qawm Lut. She didn't practice that action, but she supported those people. She's called a kafira in the Qur'an. As our society changes, it's crucial to rethink how we view biological genders. According to Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, we can't just pick a gender based on preference. By encouraging open discussions, let's aim for a future where we appreciate our biological genders for what they truly are. Remember, our desires may be unique, but they can't change biological facts. Subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and share, as it will help the YouTube algorithm to promote this video to other audiences. Consider this as an act of sadaqah. Until next time, Stay vigilant.